Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you today's Tesla Semi Factory construction video for Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. Uh, this video was taken in the afternoon um, on a Tuesday, and um, the uh, title of today's video is The Cranes Have Arrived. Uh, they are lifting an in-process delivery of insulation for the roof, as I anticipated, based on Giga Texas and um, just the fact that we, I didn't believe they would leave the bare corrugated metal as the roof. This will cover that corrugated metal, those cor corrugated metal panels. I then anticipate a hypalon type waterproof membrane over that insulation. I believe those um, those rolls next to the crane, um, not on the truck, but those those rolls to the left and to the right of that crane could be those hypalon rolls that they're going to lift up after they they lift and um, move all of this insulation. If you noticed, there's a procession of trucks delivering this insulation, and by the end of this video, I think that black truck will be unloaded and the yellow truck will be um, almost completely unloaded. Um, they have made progress right here in terms of the wall panels. They're starting on the uh, next section. So an interesting thing is one of the um, YouTube viewers, AGNT20 underscore 85, has um, provided us with the proper vernacular that I've been calling the um, the northwest corner where I start every video, section one, and then I've gone down the western perimeter and called the southwest corner section two. Well, it turns out that the uh, official terminology for section one is SA, and then they actually move over to the middle north section, which is SB, the far eastern northern section is SC, the uh, western southern section is SF, the middle southern section is SE, and the far eastern southern section is SD. So I'll start using those terms. Um, for reference, section four, which is the section they're skipped, and they put in the um, the uh, panel table is SE. Anyways, just a little bit of, uh, I, I, I personally like to use the proper terminology whenever it is available to me. We are now going across section SF and then sliding up to where section um, SE would be on our way to section SB and then section SC, formerly known as section five, is the one that they are um, putting up columns and beams and trusses in anticipation of finishing that section. And then there'll only be section SD and section SE left. Probably more uh, down the, further down the rabbit hole than many of you care to go, but um, just in case you are interested in the minutiae like me, I thought I would provide it. This is section SC, which is the northeast section, the one they're currently um, working on. Uh, all of the BFF, the big freaking footings, have been filled in, and actually they're um, they're somewhat discreet. The uh, it's hard to tell them apart from the other ones, and you'll, you'll have to correlate back to previous videos to locate them. But I, in general, the ones with a lot of concrete around them are not the BFFs. The BFFs, the concrete is all buried. The large um, footings are buried and at the very top all you see is a small um, footing. Anyways, this is, we're moving along the uh, northern perimeter 
and getting to where they have put up the wall panels and to where all this insulation is being stacked. I will probably f uh, fly on Thursday afternoon instead of Friday, Friday um, because I'll be out of town for the weekend and I would like to see uh, them installing this uh, insulation. I'd like to bring that to you guys and the, and the one girl who watches this based on statistics, analytics. You could see that there's a long procession of uh, semis bringing in the insulation and the cranes are busy unloading them putting them on the roof and workers up there are moving them over to three different, at least three different locations, just uh, getting them away from the uh, loading area or unloading area as the case might may be. Notice these are medium sized cranes versus the giant or the, the larger cranes that have to be assembled on site that we saw at Giga Texas, and no doubt saving um, a lot on capital expenditures. I'll, I'll be interesting to see if these cranes stay on site um, for the um, loading of insulation on all of the other roof sections, or if they go away and come back for those um, for that process. It looks to me like section SF, the southwest corner, should be um, ready for insulation too. As we fly from west to east, you can see in the corner the uh, panel table. The panel table has not been in use for a while. I think they'll fire it back up. I don't think that the uh, column and uh, beam and truss assembly can keep up with the uh, incredible speed of the panel table and the Mesmaster. The Mesmaster is parked, has been parked, as you'll see later, over... Um, on the northern, northern uh, edge of the construction site and uh, waiting for this section to be complete so they can start building roof panels and um, using the Mesmaster to install them. Later on in the video, you will I have a section of uh, video where you can hear the sounds of the uh, construction from ground level. The southern concrete apron is complete and um, one of the things to look forward to in the future is um, a, a high volume number of concrete trucks bringing in um, concrete and pouring the slab. There's the panel table. This is the ground level view I spoke about um, from the uh, drone takeoff location, and there's the Mesmaster. So that was the sounds of the uh, Tesla semi-factory construction and unfortunately the, also the sound of the drone returning to home. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I always leave you with the rendering of the semi-factory 
to uh, compare to the progress in today's video. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again.